Imagine you are playing basketball. As you prepare to shoot the ball, you bend your knees, push off the ground, and launch the ball into the air. The moment it leaves your hands, it follows a smooth arc toward the ring. But what makes the ball move in the first place? The answer lies in force, the invisible push or pull that governs all motion. In this lesson, let's dive in and explore force. Force is all around us, shaping everything from the way we move to how objects interact with the world. But what exactly is force and how does it work? Force is any interaction that causes an object to move, stop, speed up, slow down, or even change shape. It is what makes a basketball soar through the air when you shoot it, what pulls water from a faucet toward the ground, and what keeps a book resting firmly on a table. We measure force in newtons, named after Sir Isaac Newton, the scientist who helped us understand how forces govern motion. But not all forces work the same way. Some require direct contact between objects, like when you push a door open, while others can act from a distance, like the force that makes magnet attracted to a piece of metal. To make sense of these different interactions, we divide forces into two main categories, contact forces and non-contact forces. First, let's talk about contact forces. Forces that only occur when two objects physically touch each other. These forces are everywhere in our daily lives. The most common one is applied force, any push or pull we exert on an object. Think about pushing a wooden push cart. The harder you push, the faster it moves. But have you ever tried pushing a sack of rice across a rock floor? and felt it resists? That's friction at work. Friction is the force that opposes motion when two surfaces rub together. When an object experiences friction, it slows down over time until it comes to a complete stop. Another contact force is tension, which acts in ropes, strings, or cables when they are pulled tight. Think about a game of tug of war. The rope stretches as both teams pull in opposite directions, creating tension that holds it together. Then there's normal force. The support force exerted by a surface to keep objects from sinking through it. When you place a book on a table, the table pushes back with normal force to counteract gravity keeping the book in place. And finally, there's air resistance, or known as drag, which slows objects moving through the air. This is why skydivers rely on parachutes. They increase air resistance to slow their descent, allowing for a safe landing. Contact forces are all around us, shaping how we interact with the world, often in ways we don't even realize. Now, let's talk about non-contact forces. Forces that can act over a distance without any physical contact between objects. One of the most familiar and powerful of these is gravity, the invisible force that keeps our feet planted on the ground and the planets orbiting around the sun. Have you ever tried playing with magnets? What happens if you bring two pieces of magnets together? Yes, that's right. They will be attracted towards each other. Opposite poles attract and the same poles repel. Magnetism is the force that allows magnets to attract or repel each other even when they are not touching. And finally, we have electrostatic force, which occurs between objects with electric charges. Have you ever rubbed a balloon on your hair and watch it stand on end? That's electrostatic force at work. The negatively charged balloon 
attracts the positively charged strands of hair, creating that fun, spiky effect. These non-contact forces may be invisible, but they shape our world in ways we experience every day. Forces actively shape the world around us in fascinating ways. Engineers rely on force and motion principles to design safe and sturdy jeepneys and tricycles, ensuring smooth rides even on bumpy roads. Athletes harness the power of force to sprint faster, leap higher, and throw farther, fine-tuning their movements to maximize performance. Deep beneath the Earth's surface, immense geological forces cause the ground to shake triggering earthquakes that reshape entire landscapes. Even something as simple as a gentle breeze swaying the branches of a tree is an example of force in action. From the tiniest everyday interactions to the grandest natural phenomena, forces are constantly at play, influencing how we move and interact with our surroundings. So, the next time you push, pull, or drop something, Take a moment to appreciate the invisible forces that make it all happen. And that's it for today. Keep exploring physics and always stay curious about the forces shaping our universe. See you next time!